Hello YouTube and fellow aquariumists. I have a 10 gallon shrimp tank that um, I'm trying to carpet. So I have the uh, fluval stratum substrate and um, some regular baby tears. These are not dwarf baby tears. Um, dwarf baby tears require CO2 and a high light, which you could use. Uh, I have the Phoenix Planted Plus 24-7 light. You can see, there you go, Phoenix. Okay, I just wanted to make a video here. Um, a lot of people have uh, duckweed here. I have a little duckweed right there, you can see it. Um, I also have Salvinia Minima in here. And with my pump, this is just a standard um, little 10 gallon pump that has these this little valve right here you can turn it and adjust the flow on it now it just totally just shoots around the salvinia and the duckweed and sometimes um, some of the salvinia will get caught underneath each other and uh, when salvinia or duckweed stays underwater for too long it'll start to rot now a lot of people use the string method they'll get a um a piece of string and attach it some sort of way in here but I have this really big lip right here and it doesn't allow me to fit that string in there and and th there's a gap on the on the sides and it allows the salvinia to or the duckweed to pass through and then continue to be waved again by the current now here I um I, like a lot of other people on the planet, uh, eat at a fast food restaurant and you can just grab, uh, you're going to need two straws and just take them home, you know, no one's going to complain about it and um, put one inside of, the, inside of the other one, like you can see right here and um, just keep pushing it out until it's nice and snug, pushing against the glass right there and up down under here doesn't have to be perfect but um, you can see that it really keeps the salvinia away and it doesn't let it uh, get pulled pushed by the current so here you can tell that there's a bright spot and a dark spot in the tank um, the java moss is still gonna do fine with this uh, low light um, Baby tears are going to do great right here. Here we get about the halfway mark of the tank. Um, these should still do fine. I'm planning to uh, carpet all across from here. Just about this section right here. I'm going to keep that cave there. That java moss will come out. But for the meantime, and um, oh, I also have some uh, Elodea here. And uh, in the back over there. And I have some uh, baby tears still in the pot where I got it from. So here, this is a uh, crystal red shrimp tank. Um, they're doing great. This is, um, what's it called? This is that um, almond leaf that I have in here. Um, it's really cheap, um, but I'm going to fix it so it doesn't float like that any longer. But I just wanted to make this video to show everyone um, how easy it really is to um, sort of separate the salvinia from the rest of the tank. Um, you can even start off with a little bit and give it all of this room right here to grow. This way you can actually watch the growth um, and see how you're doing. Um, I dose my tanks with Flourish and Excel. Um, I do a half dose for these. Um, because I do have shrimp and I know that there's copper and um, I want to say the flourish but I'm not uh, one of these has copper in it but still a lot of people um, seem to have some issues I don't I half dose and um, my shrimp are doing fine you can sort of see that there's that one in the cave right there um, so there's uh, these like to come in here and molt None of my shrimp molt outside of this cave. They absolutely love molting in this cave. Um, 
and occasionally they'll go underneath this java moss and molt but 99 percent of the time it's inside of here in this cave so if you have a shrimp tank i would highly recommend you um, get a nice deep cave and this one covers most of the um most of the width of the of the tank i have uh, some mono shrimp you can't really see it there's a layer of algae on the on the glass there's one right there i believe there's a this little snail right here on the glass these are uh, bladder snails which are fine if you see snails don't don't panic but uh i just wanted to show you this right here um how easy it is and cheap it's uh totally free to do this to have it separated so I hope that uh, if you guys out there have a problem with for example duckweed or salvinia then you can totally do this and it won't be an issue and uh, you can sort of separate it off okay well thank you very much for uh, watching the video thumbs up like comment subscribe whatever you guys like doing and um, I'll see you guys later